In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on modifying the highlights and shadows of your video by using the split toning tool. The split toning tool is one that is a little bit hard to understand, so I've done something special that I hope will help. Now, this is my original video. And if I play it, we have these five people around the fire, a little bit of wind, and it's a little dim. It's either overcast or early or late. So let's see what we can do to make some modifications using split toning. So I've taken the video and I've added something to it and rendered it. I've added this gradient bar from black to white because this will help us understand what range in the video the split toning actually modifies. So I've placed that on track number one. I'm going to highlight it and click on my Fix Enhance button above the timeline. And then I'm going to click under the Enhance section into Split Toning. I need to give myself some more real estate to see all my operations here. And this is our default settings for Split Toning. When it's off, you notice my bar is pure black and then gradient to pure white. Let's start with the highlights first of all. We have a balance between the highlights and shadows. If I turn the balance to the right, to the lighter part, that's 100%. It will only show me what I do in highlights. If I move it all the way to the left, it will only show me what I'm doing in the shadows. If I move it to zero in the middle, it will balance both of them, and then I can use the slider to go exactly where I want. Let's work at highlights first. Now, the highlights here are normal, what you see on the screen, and the gradient bar is normal. I'm going to click on the bar, and here I can pick any value I like. Let's assume we want the highlights to be a little bit maybe reddish, reddish brownish. I'll click here, and it gives me a hue value and a saturation value. I can also drag over or go up and down arrow to move these any way I want. You notice it moves horizontally and vertically depending on whether I'm working with the saturation or with the hue. I'll click on OK and there's my value and this is the value that's also in the hue bar. Now notice as I move this it's going to change. So we're going from the brownish colors to the green colors to the blue colors to the red colors. So let's go back here a little bit. And again, I can change the saturation. But notice what part of this gradient we're impacting. The highlights are the light colors. Now, pure white, it won't impact at all. Pure black, it won't impact at all. But this is the range in this area when I have the, the highlights that I'm impacting on the, the video behind. If I drag the saturation all the way up, you're going to see more clearly exactly the range where this impacts. The more white we get, the less impactful it will be and it won't touch the blacks. Let's dial it back a little bit. And there's a little bit of a reddish highlight. Now I'm going to work on the shadows. In this case, I don't have to, but I'm going to move the balance slider to the back, which gives me my original video. And then we'll do the same with the shadows. Again, let's say we want the shadows to be a little more purplish. I'll click on OK. And now you notice it is toward the darker side of this gradient that we have the most impact of the shadows. I'll turn it up. And here you see we have this purple pink color here for our shadows. So you can impact both the shadows and the highlights with this tool. Now to see both of them together, we simply move our balance slider in the middle. And we're going to see one impact on the highlights. If I want to focus on those, I can move it very far to the right and the shadows will not be as impactful. On the other hand, if I want the shadows to kind of control the image, I'll take more toward the left side of my slider and we'll see less of the highlights. And then of course, when you're doing either one, you can either use the hue to change that We'll make this a little more reddish in the shadows. Or I can use, change the hue here, make this a little more toward green in the shadows. And you're seeing the change in the gradient bar as well as the change in the movie behind. Now let me show you a little bit about what this looks like before and after. I'm going to click on my keyframe button. 
and we're going to keyframe this. I'm going to turn the highlight saturation down at the beginning and the shadow saturation, which in effect turns it off. So we'll leave it off, we'll move over a little bit, and then I'll set two more keyframes on saturation value. I'll move over a frame, and then I'm going to increase the saturation of the highlights. You notice what we have on the bar down here? And then I'm going to increase the saturation of the shadows. And so I've keyframed this. I'm going to close the window for now. And let's play the first part of this. And you're going to see the difference on the screen. We'll back it up. And again, you can notice either the picture or also keep an eye on the gradient bar and you'll see the differences. Here is the normal image. And then we're going to see it abruptly change. And there is the modified image. And it does change the mood, the look and feel of the scene in a quite a dramatic way. But if you want to experiment with modifying both highlights and shadows in the same video, the split toning tool is a great tool to use in that case. Mm -hmm.